In this video, we're going to be talking about how to start MicroStation Connect Edition at Caltrans and the launcher dialog and what it offers us. So first, we have a new icon. It's the CT underscore connect. This is the MicroStation Connect Edition icon for Caltrans. So I'm going to go ahead and double click to launch the program. The first thing you see is the launcher window and across the top on the title bar, it says CT dash connect. Hello. And then it'll say your S number. Mine is Sam dot Hendrick because that's my username. Now below this, you're going to see there's a menu bar and we're going to explore that for a moment. First, we have websites. If I click here, I have options that I can go to the CAD website, CAD users manual or other useful links. We also have an app where we can clean our temp folder. We also have release notes where you can go and look at the release notes for the update or version of MicroStation Connect that Caltrans you're working with. In addition to giving me those options and more, part of what this dialog does, this little program, is it will check the version of MicroStation, the update version from Caltrans you have against what's most current. And if there is an update, it will automatically update your computer to the next update. No IT or heat ticket is required to do that. It happens automatically. Now below this, we see the version of MicroStation you're working with and your update that's installed. Below this, we see where it says user home variable. This is where it's going to put your user information. So I have the D drive open and I have the user folder set. I have not launched MicroStation Connect on this machine, so I have no user folder. What we're going to see is when we create the user folder, which is this icon over here, we're going to see a user folder created. Since I haven't told it to create the folder, I'm getting the message down here. It says unable to locate the user MS Connect folder. This is where it's going to be looking at it. It's based upon my login, which mine is sam.hendrick. Yours again will be your S number. Now, if you choose to relocate, not go with the default D drive users folder, you can click the relocate user home button, and this will give you a choice to place that user folder pretty much any place you want to. You may have a network drive where you want to put it, but the default is going to go to your D drive users folder. Now I'm going to click the create user folder icon. And when I do that, you're going to notice on the right, a folder will be created. Clicking it, you can see there's the folder. Now, if I open this folder up, you're going to see similar to what you've had in the prior versions of MicroStation, a folder for your cells, your DG and lib and things like that. This is where your unique information is being stored. It's always recommended that you back up the user folder because if your computer dies, if you can restore the user folder from a backup, it makes it much easier to get back to where you left off. So now that button changes to run MicroStation Connect. Once you've done that, it'll always show up as run MicroStation Connect. Now we also have a help icon. We also have an exit icon if you wanted to exit out. So if I click the run MicroStation Connect button, it will launch the program. So that's basically the launcher and how to get it started. 